Hi, it's me, Keith Lemon. Welcome to Keith Lemon's Doings. What I'm doing today, if you don't know what I'm doing is, what I'm doing is I'm making a ginger werewolf. I've written a book called My Dad is a Ginger Werewolf. So here I go. I'm starting with tin foil. That's what I usually use. I get a, a, a ball of tin foil and loosely shape it into what I'm making. I get my eyes from Amazon. Um, sometimes I have to paint them because it's not the right colour that I want. So I've painted these ones red and now I'm using Super Sculpey, which is a wonderful clay that um, it turns into kind of like a hard plastic once you've banged it in the oven for 15 minutes at 135 degrees Celsius. Celsius. So I'm sculpting away with just some tools again that I used, or that I bought, actually I've used, I say I bought from Amazon and um, that's what I'm doing, sculpting away. So I did this as a drawing first. Here's the drawing. There it is on screen there. And um, yeah, just sculpting away. When I get to, people often ask me, Keith, how long does it take you to make these things? I don't know. I just do a bit at a time. As you'll notice, I've got different shirts on whilst I'm making this. But I've got a spare moment. Um, I'll, I'll start to get busy. Look, there you go. There he is. That's the shape of the head. Now I'll commence painting it. Uh, oh, first, I'm, I'm not painting it. I'm putting it in the oven here. As I said, for 15 minutes, uh, 135 degrees. Just wrap him up in a tinfoil blanket like he's just run the marathon. And then I paint it with acrylic paints. Again, I've just got all these uh, bits and bobs from Amazon. It's very um, Teen Wolf inspired, I guess. It's middle-aged Teen Wolf, um, as you can see. Um, it's got the lovely protruding jaw, like old school werewolves. A big fan of the werewolf genre. There you go. That's him painted, ears painted. Ears look really big, but they've got to stick through the fur, which I'm applying now. Again, I got the fur from Amazon. All these bits and bobs I get from Amazon. It's quite cheap on Amazon. If you go to an abadashery, um, it costs um, quite a lot of money, but it's cheaper on Amazon. It just takes a little longer to arrive. I think it comes from a different country. Just using a hot glue gun. Um, you can see the body is uh, made out of tinfoil. Inside there, there's a wire skeleton. I'm just molding the hands and feet now. So it looks a bit weird, but um, <laughs> this gaffer tape man, um, his feet are done. Um, I have to paint the toenails and his, um, his, his hands, well, his, his fingernails there, see. I might add some filling to this using bubble wrap. Then I have to stick a fur on here and here and here and make his clothes. Now I'm not a seamstress. So that's the hard bit for me. Um, you get a screw his light with his head on. I can't get his head on. Hold on. That sort of vibe. Just using acrylics. Just acrylics. That's the toenails all painted and uh, fingernails and toenails and stuff. And then I uh, put a little bit of Delta varnish on them to give them a little bit of shine. Still looks like a skinny little chihuahua, but I filled him out with a bit of bubble wrap. And now I'm going to add some fur. Now, rather than cutting fur with scissors, I use a scalpel. That reason, it doesn't fly everywhere because you, you cut into it and then trimming the hair by accident and you get hair everywhere. So I cut it from behind with a scalpel, like so. Then using the hot glue gun, I stick the fur on. I've said this a million times before, be careful if you're around children because you will use expletives if this hits your skin. Look at state of mind, it's covered in all sorts of junk. Anyway, um, let's get it on. So now it looks like this. My hair's a little bit too long, so I'm going to give it a trim with the scalpel. You can see a little bit of his fist there. So now he looks like this. All I gotta do is make his clothes. And there you have it. No tailoring required as the clothes were all hot glued together with a hot glue gun. A ginger werewolf from the hopefully soon to be published book, My Dad is a Ginger Werewolf. Just gotta find myself a publisher. Oh, you can hear me dog barking, can't you? Like and subscribe, and if you don't see for a week, I'll see you front window. Good luck with your business.